Vanya. Um, I'm one of a handful of people that create Design Philadelphia, and it's run through the Design Center at Philadelphia University. And this is actually our fourth year that we're going into, which is pretty exciting. Make Philly is one of the um, people that will be doing an event. It's coming up in three weeks, so it's October 16th through the 22nd. This is some of the um, collateral material you probably saw around the city last year. Um, you know, there's a lot of events that go on, and the point behind Design Philadelphia is to really open the doors to what design is, what's going on in the city, around Philadelphia, student work that's happening, professionals that are creating, um, individuals that are designing that want to kind of open the doors, showcase what they're doing, what they're creating around the city, and also a venue to bring people together to talk about design. So these are some photos from student exhibitions that we've done the last few years on having the seven different design schools come together on a topic and design around that topic and then have a panel discussion. Um, this year there's about 90 events taking place throughout the city and they range from open studios, lectures, um, product launches, all out parties, design symposia, quite a variety of events that will be occurring. And um, most of the events are free and open to the public, so it's a pretty exciting opportunity to get out and see what's going on. Uh, this was an event that happened at Design Within Reach last year, and the IDSA, Industrial Design Society of America, teamed with Design Within Reach to showcase the members' work and what they've been doing. And there's a lot of professional organizations that come out. We also have a lot of local galleries that will bring in designers. So this is work from Materialese. This is a one-shot stool that is printed on a 3D printer. And it was an opportunity. This is in the MoMA permanent collection. It was an opportunity to play with it and really kind of see how it functions, how it works. Um, there's an event called Philly Heart Design, which is actually still accepting um, submissions for events or for design ideas if you want to submit your work. This happened last year at Fuel. It's happening this year at the Rotunda at Penn. And it showcases over 50, 60 individual designers' work. So it's a great opportunity to show what you're doing, what you're creating, whether it's work that you're creating in a firm or the work that you're moonlighting or that you did on your own that you really want to showcase. Um, these are all individual designers that really had an opportunity to show their work out in the city and talk about it, present it, get it published. We have um, 450,000 people get to see the Design Philadelphia brochures, events. These are floating around tonight. There's also an event calendar coming out. Um, this was an event that Richard Nicholas Hair Salon does where they work with a live model installation. This year, the event they're doing is titled Stare, and they're working with full body tattoo design. So you get to look at why the designs are there and talk to the people about their designs and really check out that variety of work. So it really is a complete range of product design lectures um, and all out parties. So uh, go to the website. There's a great list of events on the website. You can check out the calendars, sort it by, you know, if you want to go to events, lectures, um, product launches, really see what the variety of things are that are going on. Um, it's also started about four years ago, as I mentioned, so we're now entering, you know, fourth year, showcasing a lot of the different work that's happening. Um, the Design Center at Philly U coordinates it all, but they also look to the participants as an opportunity to fund all of their individual events and to also create their events. So we're an umbrella organization that allows all of these different activities to occur, look to get funding from a variety of different places, um, William Penn Foundation, um, what has been a big funder in the past, a lot of the city organizations, uh, design firms, Bressler Group is a big sponsor as well. Um, some of the work from the last couple of years at, from Josh Owen at an exhibition opening. Uh, he's also coordinating a lot of events this year because he teaches at a few universities, so it's a great way to connect local designers with students, showcase their work, get individuals who are interested to come in and see how it works, what's going on, if you're interested in seeing kind of the behind the scenes of architecture studios, product studios. Um, there's about 15 open studios this year that you can go in and see the events, talk to the designers that, about what they're creating, why they're doing design, and really get to see the different types of work that are happening. Um, this was at Minima last year. Minima this year is working on an event that will bring you know, prefab housing to the city on an open lot and ex exhibit that space as an opportunity to kind of see the variety of work that's going on. Uh, some of the open studios from last year, landscape, industrial design, product design, graphics, advertising, fashion design, and so that's the big event. Um, thank you, and see you all there.